Hello fellow YouTubers. Uh, this is going to be a sort of unboxing. There isn't really much to unbox here, but uh, unboxing and installation of upgraded memory and upgraded uh, network card for an ASUS uh, N61JQ A1, I believe, is the model that I have, but all ASUS N61JQs uh, should basically be able to support the same thing. So the memory I'm sure is going to work, this I'm pretty sure is going to work, and uh, we're going to go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. So this came with four gigs of memory, uh, two two gigabyte DIMMs. I was lucky, I got 1333 uh, megahertz memory, but uh, I think that's the most it can support. Some people got 1066. Uh, it can support either. So this is two, uh, two four gigabyte, uh, 1333 megahertz uh, DDR3 uh, DIMMs. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. All right. So the part that we're gonna work on here is this big. Uh, this big plate right here. So there are one, two, three, four, uh, four total uh, screws that need to be taken out. So be sure to save those somewhere. Let's see, two, three, and this one here in the middle, four. I don't think this one needs to come out, but let's see. It does not. So there are the internals of our laptop memory. Memory is really easy here. So just pop those two on the side, take the memory out. And the memory replacement is completely under warranty, so you don't need to worry about messing with that. Go ahead and take these out of their case here, and make sure that uh, these tabs line up. Install them in the reverse order you took them out. Look at that, all done. All right, now we go for the somewhat more complicated, though not too terribly complicated part. So in here, there's these antenna wires right here, uh, right there. So that one and that one. Uh, you need to pop those off. They don't, they don't screw off, they just pop off. So be delicate, they are small wires. All right, there goes one. There goes. All right, they're both off. And there's two screws right here and here. All right, save those in a different place. Save them over here. And the second one. All right, and it looks like it pops up by itself once those are removed. Slide that out, and there is your old wireless card. All right, so let's take a look at this new one here. I don't think that needs to be ripped open at all, so. Oh, that's on tight. All right. Pop that out. There we go. 
So, again, the tabs line up just the same. This is going to be very simple. Take the screws. Tighten it enough, but you don't need to tighten too much. You don't want to strip these. Imagine they would be hard to find to replace. Or at least not cheap. All right. Pop the antenna connectors back in. on that one. Should be relatively simple. Don't know why we're having a problem with this one. fine there. Get in there. Yes. All right. So, took a little bit of delicate maneuvering there, but um, so the tabs are here on this end. So I'll just go ahead and up those back on there. Now, if you were smart, I wasn't, but if you were smart, what you would have done is you would have downloaded the drivers for this new network card before you took this all apart. Now, this was wireless, so if you have wired networking, then you can get online. Um, if Windows 7 has drivers for this built in, that will probably work. Uh, either way, you want to grab the latest drivers and install it on this ASAP. So this does snap back in. And then we just put the screws back in where they were before. It's just four screws. All right, there we go. So we've now replaced all of this with new and better. So this network card I put in here is the Intel uh, 6230, I think. I'll put a little notation down here if I got that wrong. Um, I'll go ahead and include a link to uh, where I got both sets of these. Uh, both got them off of Amazon. And yeah, so 6230, it does 300 megabit per second uh, wireless, uh, A, B, G, and N uh, types. And then yeah, the eight gigs of memory, doubling the memory in this machine. It should be quite a beast. Uh, I will go ahead and restart again once it's up and working and show you uh, how awesome it is. I'll be right back. Okay everyone, so it's installed, it's working as you can see here. The uh, speed here is fluctuating a bit, but uh, you know, that's, that's understandable. It's definitely uh, faster. The, the one that comes pre-built uh, into our systems only goes up to 150, so uh, obviously this one's already doing better. And if we come over here, go to, oh, sorry, wrong one. 
my task manager, you can see we are now at 8 gigs. So definitely a happier system now. Uh, I hope this was useful to some. And uh, yeah, there we go. 8 gigs, faster uh, network speed, a, uh, a nice upgrade for the ASUS N61JQ.